this, but I want to continue. What do you think? You just want to hear us a brand new oh. show? We're starting a couple channel. No. Hey everyone, I'm Maddie. I'm Brandon. This is cute. Hmm? This is cute. That's your cue? Uh, that was your cue? My cue was to look at you. I told you. I told you. That was cool. Let's see. Yeah, bro. Do you know, did like the little let. We're talking now, bro. Hold on. So we do this. Like, look at me. We're supposed to snap back together. Let's eat. Let's eat. Like, like, oh, okay, like but you were still late. Okay. Oh, hey. Let's eat. See, now no, she late. No, you late. Like, oh, you just did that on purpose. That's how, that's how yeah, you do things. Yay, yeah. that's what you get. Okay. okay. Anywho, you can put your glasses back on. Put your glasses back on, yes. We will be playing a game called Our Moments. These are all the cards. But we only chose, we both chose five, but we don't know what the cards are. He only knows the ones that he chose for me, and I only know the ones that I chose for him. No, and we're not. also eating McDonald's today. It's about to be interesting. It's about to be real interesting. So first, let's show you our food before we start the game. So what did you get? Oh, you know, McDonald's favorite, the number one, the Big Mac with the large fries. The Sprite. And their ice machine, their ice cream machine wasn't broken, so we got a little. little <laughs> oh, it's sweating. What do you mean sweating? This is on the outside. It's sweating. It's, when I say it's sweating. It's when not it's sweat. Drips. It's not sweat. It's how these are McFlurries, Oreo McFlurries. It's goodness juice. That's not okay. sweat. That's good. And I got juice. the filet of fish <clears throat> meal. That's it. Let me also have some nuggets and barbecue sauce. That'd be cute. And who are you to me? Husband. It's gonna kill me. I'm joking. I'm her boyfriend. We've been dating for uh, what? A week. She means a year and like seven months. It's been a week. So. A year and seven months. I'm shocked, right? Okay, do you want to go first? You start the game? Sure. Alright. <clears throat> What did you learn a little too late? Hmm? That's a hard question. I don't know. I told you, I was like, these, these are some heavy hitters. What do you mean, what did I learn too late? What did you learn in life that was too late? I was like, kind of like, you don't have a flat plane. Like, I don't know when you use the opportunity to fly a plane, but. You know, your teachers in college are horrible, I'm joking. But what's considered late though? I heard a quote that said that you're on time with whatever that you're doing. And when you say that you're late, you're usually comparing yourself to someone else. True. And I compare myself to someone else, of course. All right, well, let me change it. Well, what do you? What would you want to learn earlier in life? Ooh. If you had to choose, all about mental health. That's a biggie. Mental health. I would like to learn that earlier. All right. Okay. Okay. It's indeed your turn, my Okay, miss. but I'm going. Young tell Sally. Tell me going when I'm going. Young Sally, is in, believe it's your turn. You tell me when to go and I'm going. It's your little head. What makes you nervous? I got a list. Okay. okay. Big dogs without a leash chasing you. <laughs> scared of dogs. I'm not, but if it's a big pit bull and it's chasing you, you just like, all moments just drop, and you're just like, is it coming at me? Or, um, this, one, this one's kind of personal, because you live in a dorm room, and once you walk out, because you have to swipe yourself in, when you walk out, which is the and you forget your wallet and you can't go back in. So you have to wait there for anybody to come in and let you in. Or if you're a boy, you have to call your roommate if you have one. 
And the saddest part is when that person is in class and you just have to go the rest of the day like on their schedule. Greatest fear, because I've done it twice. And both times my roommate was either out of town or not in the room. And I had to literally just like sit there and wait for someone to bust the door open for me to slide through. And then they had to swipe me into the elevator to help me get upstairs. Awkward moments. Oh, awkward moments. My also, when you know, when I broke something in the elevator, and right when I broke it, I ripped off one of the handles by accident. And right when I ripped the handle off, the door opened for the first floor, and the administration just looked at me, and I was just like, "Yo!" And one of the ladies just said, "Put it on the ground." So I just dropped it and walked out. It's still broken. They can't find me though. All right, question number two. Mm-hmm. Would you like to travel more or travel less than you currently do? It's got a pandemic. We saw the pandemic. You saw the pandemic? It's actually a trick question because 2020, I don't remember. 2020 was a ghost. There's <laughs> some stuff that I just can't remember. That's weird. You mean we in a panor- panorama? We in a Pandora? I would like to travel more and just to be safe when I travel. I don't like airports. It's my journey place. I would love to travel more. Okay. I can vlog more. Is that good? All the way to Bali. Then we'll get out in 20. I'll make a match. I'm good. What's your most urgent priority for the rest of your life? I don't have everything mapped out, but I do got the next couple of months. Passing the classes I need to pass, get out of offense, JU. Um, How is that offending to me? Oh, no offense to JU. I'm talking, I'm not offending to you. I'm just offending to school. But other than that, just make memories as you go, learn life lessons. Cause once you once you stop learning, you stay stagnant, and that's when that's when things start going downhill in your life. So live hard, learn fast. Have you ever used drugs? No, Brandon. I know. I, I you said five random cards. So I just draw them off the top. No. You clean out here. What's your idea of the perfect date? Sauce. No, I actually want the sauce for my fries. Oh, I got sauce right here. I'm good. I realize that. Um, perfect day, perfect day. Something simple. I'm not really into anything big. Honestly, perfect day could be be at home, like candle lit, I cook. Um, we sit there, we just enjoy like the company or a good movie. Or we go out for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Or a walk. I don't know. Might as well, that's good. What's your favorite food? But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Something simple, something sweet. Nothing major, nothing weird. Unless you want to do weird, then we can go, we can go to Jurassic Park. And you could you could pet a tie on you. First off, I don't we haven't been to a theme park yet. Next question: How did you spend a typical childhood? How did you spend a typical childhood? Well, you can't read it, but blah. I don't know what you meant. 
how did you spend a typical childhood? Like, what was your little, like, mine was I wake up and I watch, um, what's that? What's that show with the, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day with your neighbor. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? I don't remember the show. You remember that song, but though. I remember that song was, that song, it's I was like, than you. I was in the back, like, it's a beautiful day. They needed to throw a beat on that song. He just needed to come in and just say, sing that song on a beat. I think I would get up, eat breakfast, or make it, or my mom would make it. Then I would go outside. I think I'd be outside all day. Mm. Or maybe watch TV and then go outside. I don't know. Something like that. I know I used to have a playground. Mm. Why, why is this already souping? For some reason, I always had a, ch a curious George book in my backpack. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, think, I think I just had like a weird. Obsessing with reading Curious George because you got away with a lot of stuff. Yeah, I remember that episode when he ordered. Well, it was in the book. I think it was a book or an episode. He ordered them donuts. He ordered like a thousand donuts. And uh, I'm guessing the man in the yellow hat was rich. Because mm -hmm. all he did was like, oh, it's okay. You ordered a thousand donuts. Let's feed them to the firefighters. And I was like, ooh. Turn. If you could enroll in a PhD program with your tuition paid in full by a mysterious benefactor, what would you study? Psychology. Because, hmm. or or neurology, something something out of the out of the box. I do want to know how the mind works and how like all the neurons and 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 ions and stuff like that. That sounds that's chemistry. How the neurons and the synaptic clefts and all that fire off and stuff like that, which I find interesting. And how certain certain um, things like amphetamines and stuff would affect the brain, which would be cool. Um, but yeah, just those two. Honestly, that's about it. Just either neurology or psychology, which I think psychology is really interesting, and I feel like everybody should take a course. That was a good question. If social media did not exist, how would your life be different? Friend, I want you to do that again. Why? Because now we're on camera. And this is a big part of social media. So it was YouTube. So I really wanted to. When I got that card, I'm like, I'm not switching it out. I told you if I didn't have social media, I told you I'd be a hippie. <laughs> I would have really long braids and I'd be at peace. I'll probably just do whatever, whenever. But oh, okay, I just wanted to travel somewhere, just go that day. I'd be very spontaneous, I feel like. You're still spontaneous now. I don't I think wanna, I'm spontaneous. I wanna go road dance, I wanna go, uh, I wanna go. <laughs> I want you to pick me up in a pickup truck and take me out square dancing. Yes. And I'm like, first of all, I don't, I don't drive no pickup truck. I need us to have a picnic, picnic in the pickup truck. I need there to be blankets, I need us to be underneath the stars, and you have to eat fried chicken. See? Yes. All I asked was food, a movie, and that's about it. Yes, you have to pick me up. You have to wear an entire cowboy outfit. You got to bring me flowers, just like the longest ride. I need the date to be exactly like that. They didn't go square dancing, though, but I need to go square dancing, just like Footloose. I love that movie. Footloose. Have you ever unplugged from the internet for more than four days? Oh, yes. <laughs> The internet, though. Yes, I call that ghost periods. <laughs> so, here's what you need to do: download like a whole. No kids on yet. All right, sure. I just download a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> Netflix shows. Is that the internet, though? No, it's Netflix. That's not considered the internet. Netflix it. is not the internet. Okay, then I will read a book because I do have like two that I really want to. Yeah. Well, what I need to order. So they're coming on time so I can read it. Is TV the internet? Social. You could consider it like a social media, in my opinion. He's going to go right back 
have in the freezer. Look at, I know, oh, this is stiff, but everything in here is soup. Or a milkshake, I guess. Or straws. <laughs> so you can eat with some straws. Some straws. Some straws, I had food in the box. Bring down. Ooh. Bonus card. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> what do most people overestimate and under, underestimate about you? Fredo! I'm just picking out all the good cards, I'm guessing. Underestimate. Mm -hmm. I guess when people first meet me, anything that has to do with my weight or height. They overestimate it? No, under. Mm. I don't think I understand the question. Okay. I'll take all my. No, what's the question mean? Am I saying it right? Like they Yeah, would they overestimate what they what they tend to to overguess about you and they think that you're uh, not capable of Yes, the not capable part, yes. The weight and height, because of my weight and height it's always Are you gonna be able to do it? Or yeah. Do you need help? Or my looks. Weight, height or looks based on First of all you give off a scary look. Based on that that I'm not approachable or a mean person or they think something mm -hmm. that they know from someone else that I'm not based on looks and then when it comes to things that I want to do yep can you do that because of this because of how I look and because of my weight yeah I saw something the other day it was really good as people don't compliment you because I think you already know how you look so that was interesting. I don't know, I just thought about that. That's my question. Now, over, was it overestimate? Is the opposite? Does overestimate mean? People think you're too capable of nothing. I don't get that. I don't get that. I answered it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.